And I got along with all of the record reps really, really well, including the uh, CBS record folks, which was Epic's, uh, rather Epic and Epic's associated labels and also CBS Columbia Records. So I went to work for Epic Records first and I left at AVX and it wasn't that big a deal for them. It was like, oh, okay. And um, I think I had already hired Costan at that point. Yeah. I think I had hired Costan. And, and um, but long story short again on that, I ended up going to Chicago where I um, took on the record industry for three and a half years. And uh, there was a phone call that came in in late 1979 from Jim Johnson. And Calvert, he said, you're coming home. But I got I, that whole year, those three and a half years in, in radio were really special. Super, super special. Was but anyway, it? that's it. I mean, they were they asked me to go, and I thought this is the time to go. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life with Columbia Records. I thought I'd go and grow. I was paying decent money. It was a great life. Had just an incredible expense account. I loved it. Who were some of the artists that you had to kind of... Who didn't I? <laughs> Springsteen. Yeah, Springsteen. Well, I went on the Columbia side. I had everybody from Lou Rawls to Springsteen, Billy Joel. Um, we actually had the Rolling Stones for one album. Um, we certainly had, um, oh God, we had everybody, everybody. I mean, I literally, the question would, uh, I remember being out on the road with Bruce. I remember being out on the road with Aerosmith. I remember being out on the road. Aerosmith was great. I've got a great thank you letter on my wall thanking me for the tour that summer. Um, got a great thank you note from Bruce thanking me for the darkness on the edge of town tour. Um, I guess who else? We, I mean, we had so many. I really wish, if anybody wants to Google, if you Googled names on on Columbia Records, oh, man. it'd be off the charts. They they don't. There's Columbia or whatever it is now. 